So at the moment, colour's coming back in a big way for men. At the moment, the pharmacies are selling a lot of brands for women, but they're also these kind of just-for-men things that are five minutes on and last for six weeks are, are coming off the shelves for men. Everyone's trying it now. Anyone from sort of 16 years old, the skater, the skater kids, the hipsters, uh, all the way through to the you know, 35 to 55 age range who are just finding a little bit of grey hair, they're wanting to put a little bit something through there just to mute it out, not to not to make them, themselves look like uh, they've got a wig on their heads, but just something to mute out the grey. So there is degrees of ways of actually working with colour. You can actually put on uh, certain types of colours, like they're called flying colours, but you just comb on colour into the, the temple areas, the areas that are most affected by grey, uh, and what ends up happening is you get like this kind of softer look. I would, I would actually add as well at the moment, people who want to go for highlights in guys hair is a big no-no. Uh, a lot of people, they like to work with highlights in hair. As soon as you put them in, you chop it down, you get all these spots in, and I know a few people that have got these kind of looks and it looks absolutely ridiculous, so highlights and no-no. So yeah, definitely uh, you can use uh, colour in a, in a more trendy sort of way, you know, not looking at your, your father's old box there and uh, uh, of colour that you had there, actually going for things that are a little bit more cooler, trendier, and a bit more muted. Everyone can sort of play around with it, but the, uh, the only thing I would say is if you've got a really radical haircut, don't have a radical color, because uh, less is more.